Hey, what is going on guys? In this video, I'll show you how to create this fly-in logo reveal animation in HitFilm Express. So in this case, uh, in this example, I used, instead of a logo, I've used this text right here. You can use your logo if you want to. Um, since I didn't have any, so I just used this text. So, so let's do this. Let's create this animation. So I'm going to go to uh, New, and then I'll create a new composite shot. And from the template, I'm going to choose 1080p full HD at 60 frames per second and set the duration to 6 seconds. Then click on OK. Let's create a new plane layer. And uh, from the color, uh, I'll choose the white color. And I'm going to rename this layer to white. Then click on OK. Let's create a new text layer. And I'm going to set the width to 1920 and size to 400. Then click on OK. Select the text tool and type in your text. I'm just going to type in fly in. Highlight the text and go to the text tab on the left side. Uh, the font that I'm using is Mockingbird. I'm just going to align this text to the center by clicking on this button right here. Okay, we have our text set up now. Uh, just import your media. I'm going to use a video, uh, this right here, this video. And I'm going to drag it on and put it on top of my text layer let me just rename this uh, text layer to text primary now, now i'm going to hide the visibility of this video layer so that i can see my text expand your text layer go to transform and we will animate the scale so i'm just going to move to the three second duration of my video and uh, Put a keyframe at that position by clicking on this icon right here. So at three second duration, you have uh, the scale at 100%. Now I'll move to the one second duration and I'm just going to increase the scale until I see only the black part of this text. I want to get rid of the white area, so I'm just going to keep on scaling it. So I think this right now is the perfect time to tell you guys that if you are using a logo, let's make sure that it is big enough. Uh, because you have to scale it you will be scaling it up a lot so uh, for example right here my text is scaled to about 5000 percent and it's still not covered yet so just make sure that your logo is big enough just to make sure that you don't get those pixelated edges on your logo Now uh, I can enable this uh, the oh, video layer and in the effects tab search for set matte layer only effect and drag it on top of your video. On the left side you have this controls tab, expand the set matte and set the source layer to text primary. And if you just play this animation, this is what we have created. So right there as you can see that uh, the video is only visible uh, in your text area. So let me just uh, clip this uh, video, split this video, and I'm just gonna delete this part and I'm just gonna adjust this video. I uh, basically want the, the, the sky in the middle when uh, this animation plays. So yeah, like that. Okay, now. <clears throat> select your text primary layer and right click and click on duplicate now if you're wondering which is the duplicate one uh, the one that is highlighted is your duplicate layer I'm just going to rename this to text secondary and uh, I'm going to drag this on top of the video layer let's expand that and go to uh, transform now we'll keyframe the opacity so I'm just going to put the playhead right uh, maybe at 2 second 2.50 seconds and I'm gonna create a keyframe at that uh, position at that time I'm gonna set the opacity to 100% and uh, I'm gonna move forward and now I'll set the keyframe opacity to 100% so now we have something like this can also maybe uh, if this animation is too fast for you we can increase the gap in between these two keyframes and then uh, you can also you can 
it's completely up to you. you can play around with these keyframes and also you can go to scale and um, maybe instead of uh, linear keyframes you can convert them to manual bezier and do the same thing with your text primary layer on the scale keyframes so in this tutorial and this video i'm not going to bother about that so i'm just going to end this tutorial right there so i hope this video was helpful if it was please do hit the like button and uh, subscribe to this channel and i'm going to see you in the next video goodbye